single in the city on Christmas Eve, no need to sit at home with a frozen dinner. No, it is time to party. The matzo ball is back, thanks to the Society of Young Jewish Professionals, NJ Date, and people of all faiths are welcome to mingle, just have a good time. Joining us now is Nellie J. Rosenking. Don't forget that middle initial. <laughs> Event coordinator for Matzo Ball NYC. 27 years for this. How, how did it all start? Well, 27 years ago, um, a gentleman by the name of Andy Rudnick came with an idea to make a party for all those singles who didn't get a chance to do anything on Christmas Eve because they were Jewish young professionals mm -hmm. and had no holiday to go to for their with their family. And he thought to get everybody together and do a party. Mm -hmm. And that system kind of grew. That energy grew into more and more people coming to events on Christmas Eve. It became almost like a national holiday for Jewish young people to come out. So we all have off the next day. Sure, yeah, we have usually, no holiday yeah. to celebrate. Mm -hmm. And it just became a night that people flocked together in one space to meet other Jews. So tell me about, like, so what's the party this year going to be like? $40 to get in. I read that. And then what happens? So basically, what's really nice about this year's event is at Capital, mm -hmm. which is a quintessential space in Manhattan on 130 Bowery Street. Okay. It's the old Bowery Savings Bank. Oh, yeah. Beautiful so venue. it's okay. huge. Mm -hmm. Yes. And really stunning. And it gives people an opportunity to be elegant and social and high energy networking and even possibly a romantic encounter under one space. Well, one can pray and hope, you know. Who, who comes to this? You never know. You never know. Who, co who comes to this event? Well, typically it's young professionals in their 20s, 30s, and early, early 40s. Mm -hmm. And people come just because they know it's that one night a year that you have a few hours to get together in a beautiful beautiful venue, like I said before, with like-minded people who are also looking to meet others who might be single, mm -hmm. or maybe not even just a romantic spark, maybe networking, maybe sure. like-minded peers and friendships. And something know. to do if you're, not, if you're not celebrating, perhaps, or you're not, or you're not with family, whatever the Absolutely. reason. Absolutely. And this event, this is Friend Blossom. This is not just New York City now, right? It's multi-city mm -hmm. and now international. And even more so, it's a space that people otherwise don't even get a chance to go to. It happens once a year, and it's a real privilege for people to have this great opportunity to come for a few hours and meet not just hundreds, thousands of people in one night. That is extraordinary. It's great. It's okay. a lot of fun. Thousands of people. Have there been some lasting connections here? Have we, have we, are we talking about Have there been marriages after matzo ball? I think that's what keeps us going. Yeah. I think the fact that there's consistency with people coming to a space where they can meet other people that not only spark maybe a marriage or two, or mm -hmm. even more so, thousands yeah. of people are coming into this space. Right. So it's a really nice place for everybody to get together, and even more so friendships and other kind of connections happen. And now with new technology, the event is just the first space you're going to. Right. Thereafter, you have all this upper, other opportunity to connect so it's really just your first step to commitment and there's something <laughs> like that there's something there's something nice about that because we do live in this area now where everyone it seems does online dating the stigma of that has really evaporated in recent years but there's something about just being having that one-on-one -on -one contact. Absolutely. And JD is a partner in this party tonight mm -hmm. uh, sorry tomorrow night right. and we have an opportunity to bring all these wonderful Profiles that you find online live. So if so, if I want to, if, if someone wants to go, um, how do they find out about the information? So you go to matzoball.org, mm -hmm. and you're welcome. Anybody is welcome to come and join us. Um, you can buy tickets online or tickets at the door, and the address is 130 Bowery at Capital. All right, sounds good. Nellie J. Rosenking. Thank you. Thank you for coming by. We appreciate, appreciate it. Good it. luck with the event. Thank you so much. Thank you very.